Okay, first real nice day. I guess it'd be post front day here. Looks like we got a nice week coming up. The bait and the fish should be moving here soon. Uh, couldn't help it look so nice today. I had to get out post front or not. Try to drop on some bass and see if anything's moving. But yeah, real nice out today. Got a good solid week coming of even better weather than this. So, supposed to be up to 66, I think. Water temp's risen. Looks like bait's probably up a little off the bottom today, finally. Water temp 54.2, leaving the ramp. We'll see what it is out on the main lake here. But yeah, we're gonna hit main lake, try to drop on some bass, maybe get some spotted bass. We'll see if they're over here. It's been a little while since I tried for them, so. See what happens here today. It's awful nice anyway. Might have a sandwich on a lake at the least. All right. First bass of the season. Yes, sir. It's like a little large mouth. All right, let's see. You have to knit. Got him on a white Ned rig hula stick. Figured, oh, smallmouth bass. All right. Yep, a little smally up here. Shallow. A bunch of bait around again today. Finally. All right. Nice little smallmouth. Good way to start the day. Okay. We'll get back in there. Oh. Spotted bass, little guy. It's nice to catch though. It's a keeper size, but nothing giant. I've caught some really big fish in this spot. Drops to like 50 feet and less than 15 feet off the shore. So yeah. Good one. It's got some weight to it, so fatty. All right. Well, hook fell right out of them. All right, there's another one. Little fat spotted bass right there. One of the best fighting, best eating too, if you want to eat super clean white meat. Okay, let's get back in here. Okay, hey, take a minute here to show you what I've been using. I've been using it for a couple years. It's a Ned Rig Hula Stick, green pumpkin, black flake. And it's on a black Z-Man uh, mushroom head. It stands just like that, right up on the bottom. Make sure these are split so they can wave a little bit, shake it a little bit. Mostly drag it slow and dead stick it. The one I caught earlier, the uh, smallmouth, was on a white. I think it's called the Deal. And these work real well for me. I have them in crawdad, uh, short cinco type, long cinco type. They're, they're more likely to pick up the plain looking ones than they are the crawdad, though, from my experience. I mean, the crawdad's harder to get bit on for some reason. Every once in a while, I catch them on, but not too often. And I'm running an eight pound Berkeley Trilene. On uh, Mike Iconelli designed Abu Garcia finesse seven foot seven foot two. I got the Iconelli Garcia Revo reel on it. It's good for sensitivity. It's the small little ticks and just something just slice amount of weight on there. I usually feel it with these, so but they crack easy. I cracked one already, so. You whip them hard with bigger baits and you're likely to break these. The carbon fiber cracks a lot easier than the old fishing rods. I went through four last year. But yeah, it's got cool color on it. Pretty nice setup. I'm gonna get back up in here and see if I can stick another one. I got two so far. It's January, into January, so it's usually is when I start catching some. So we'll see what we can get here. Well, I haven't got anything yet. I've been marking lots of bait, 
and fish too so everything's starting to get active here today so far only got two but for january 27th it's gonna be slow so a few more warmer days i might pick up run into a good school somewhere feeding they'll chase uh bait fish up against the land especially where it's a island top there's a good chance to catch them like that still running through here trying to get that one more <coughs> so let's see i'm moving through a lot of times the best thing to do is just keep moving through fish kind of slow and move through you hit that right spot and you'll have one that last one i just pulled up there first cast wham before i ever got on the trailer motor too so we'll see i keep throwing keep throwing if i already switch up to the green one more last time got the white on there's some fish right here somewhere i'm marking them on the screen so the birds are in here i see bait in their mouths i'm passing bait balls that are moving well, at least they're not hung on the bottom no more. That bait was really hung to the bottom when the weather was changing. So, I think it's going to pick up here. We've got a nice week coming up. Get out here and try to swing on some bass. I'll probably be out here at least one more time this week. <laughs> try to get a video out and some catches. See what happens. The hit's real subtle. It's almost like it just gets heavy. You might think it's a rock a lot of the times this time of year. Every once in a while you'll feel a little tick or it barely pulling, but for the most part, it seems like it just sits there with it in its mouth. It doesn't really swim away or do much. <clears throat> Trying this little rock bank and Go ahead around the island one last time, I think, and I'll probably get on out of here after that. Water sure is nice today, though. I mean, look at that, it's just beautiful water. It's warmed up about three degrees today from what it was. I was sitting at 54 when I dropped in this morning. Showing 55 now, we were down to 51. So. Sure warmed up fast. It's a crazy year. But the fishing will be good. I know everybody knows Fultz Lake's tough, but you got to keep coming. I catch some big fish every year, bass, big trout, salmon, tons of big catfish. So, All right, well, if I don't get anything else, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hooked up with a trout on the way out. Just getting ready to bring it, bring in the downrigger rod and wham. Let's see. Fishing a chrome speedy shiner with a chartreuse stripe. I just put the net away. That sucker, huh? Feels pretty decent, I mean. Mm -hmm. He's coming at me. Don't tell me. Yeah, he's still there. Rainbow, it looks like. I haven't been catching many trout in the last week or so. Just one here, one there kind of thing. There's the king. Might look like a forked tail. That would be nice. Oh yeah, king salmon, good one too. Twenty feet deep, speedy shiner. Oh, he got under the ball. 
Oh yeah, there we go. There's another three pound king. Very nice. Look that bad boy. Sweet. That's a bonus on the way out. Mm-hmm. Hey, nice big thick king's hammer right there. Oh yeah. Come off easy too. Oh yeah, three pound king all day long. Very nice. See, you just gotta keep trying. Fultzum isn't setting the world on fire, but I mean, I do okay out here. So remember, subscribe and catch me on the next one. Take care.